I've said it before, the Fender Hot Rod Amp does sound so good, especially with a boost and an overdrive going into the front end with a little bit of EQ. It can sound very growly, but I'm not even sure that accurately describes it, but it's a sound I like very much. I wonder though, if I can make it sound any better. This, sorry, this is the Celestian Creamback G12M. It's a 12 inch, 8 ohm, 65 watt speaker. And in this video, I'm gonna put it in my Fender Hot Rod Amp. So feel free to skip around by hovering over the timeline. And this video includes the full install. It's a service I provide. So let's crack on. First thing you'll need to do is unplug the hot rod from the wall and then switch it on. What this does is then drains the capacitors. And now obviously, unbox the speaker. What would an install video be without an unboxing? So here it is. Okay, you've got six screws on the back of the hot rod and two screws that hold that cage on that protects the power tubes. The two screws for the cage are shorter screws, so just be aware of that. Now we need to remove the back panel. It can be a little sticky on there, so try not to use too much force, but it will come off. Now we've got six screws that hold the amp section in. Two on either side of the amp and two on top of the amp. So what I did is lay the amp face down and then take the screws, the two screws, either side of the amp out first. Then remove the two screws from the top of the amp. Something to be aware of though, if you remove both of these screws without supporting it, the amp's gonna drop inside the case. So make sure you give it enough support. There is a retaining clip that you'll need to remove as well. So just unscrew that and put that to one side. Now what I did is I got the amp and I just rested it on each corner of the cabinet whilst I undid the screws for the speaker. There are two wires here, one positive and one negative. The positive wire is red and black and the negative wire is just black. And they're clearly marked on the back of the speaker so you can't go wrong. And now there are just four screws that hold this speaker in. By putting the amp on the corner of the cabinet, it allows me access to these two screws. And then what I'll do, I'll grab the amp, put it onto the other corner of the cabinet, which will allow me access to the other two screws in the speaker. It's also a little sticky, so there you go. And now we just get the cream back speaker and install everything in reverse. One tip that I've got for you is that when you put the screws in, don't screw them all the way up, only put them halfway in, and this will allow you enough movement in the speaker to be able to get the other screws in. I made that mistake here. There you go, any minute now, I'm gonna realize that the first screw that I put in I screwed it all the way in, and that's not gonna allow me enough movement in the speaker to get the other screws in. And there we go. Then once again, once we've got those screws halfway in, just shift the amp onto the other side of the cabinet, allowing you to put the other two screws in. When you put these screws in, you can screw them all the way up because remember we've got the other two screws on the other side only in halfway. And now we'll just reconnect the speaker wires. And remember our black and red was positive and our black was negative. Again, on the Celestian G12M, they're clearly marked. One last shift of the amp over to the other side of the cabinet allows me to tighten the last two screws up. I 
Okay, so that's the speaker installed and we just need to reinstall the amp. Now you're going to need to support it as you put it into the cabinet in order to get at least one screw either side of the amp so that it supports itself. Once those four screws are in, don't forget your retaining clip as well. Another good tip is, in order to get these top screws in, I found it better to have the amp upright. Otherwise, for some reason, it just became a little bit tricky. And now let's reinstall the back plate. Remember, we've got six screws at the top and we've got two screws that hold the cage on. I'll put the cage in first and the cage uses those smaller screws. And here goes the genius again trying to figure out which way this cage went round. I actually had to look back further in the video to figure that out, but I got there in the end. So this uses those two small screws. Once that's done, just reinstall those other longer six screws. And then finally, we can reconnect the speaker into the amp. Don't forget now to switch the amp back off before you plug it into the wall. And we are now good to go. Now, in order to make this kind of video and give an honest opinion, it takes a few weeks because I'm used to the sound of the original speaker in the hot rod and have sculpted it to sound, well, in my opinion, amazing. So I had to have the cream back in there for a while to get used to it, to get used to the new sound and see what it can do.
It's certainly a different sound. It sounds cleaner, but more prone to earlier breakup. And the speaker swap is something I've wanted to do for a while now, to try and achieve a more, I don't know, boutique tone, whatever boutique means. It does though, give me a reduced mid hump, which is what I was after. I did watch many videos using headphones to try and establish what kind of speaker I was after. And I know it's not an exact science, especially through YouTube, but it did give me an indication of the kind of tone I could achieve. But of course, you never really know till you install it in your environment. But if you're in the market for a speaker swap in your hot rod or any other amp, give it a go. It's really straightforward and it'll give you a different sound from your amp. Brings your amp alive. Leave your comments below and I'll see you down there. Cheers.